I think Mrs. Skinny like bit you last night. Except I thought those spiders can't bite people, can they? No, they can't. Good job, children, getting exercise, using the jumper to entertain you guys. I approve. Even if they don't. Look how loud that thing is next to our window. Oh, my God. I know, you can't even hear it. It's right there, next to our window, right there. God, I cannot. I'm still bitter. What's up, fam? Good morning. Welcome to day one of Jess Fam Academy with two new enrollees. Is that a word? Attendees. Like a Attendees. Rolly Oli Oli with the dab ranch. I don't think that. <laughs> We're getting breakfast cooked up here in the morning. We've got some breakfast burrito stuff going on over here. We've got more breakfast burrito stuff. We've got eggs. We've got waffles. We've got bacon. bagels. Oh, actually, no bacon. It does smell like bacon, though. It's the linguisa. Mowgli does this all the time. He sits here like he wants to come in, and he doesn't want to come in. He just wants to sit there and watch us from the inside. Like, he does this all the time, because I'll go and I'll open the door, and I'll be like, come in, Mowgli. He's like, no, I just want to sit here in my little fire truck and watch you guys <laughs> live from the outside world. Raise your hand if you're done eating breakfast. One. Honest one. Raise your hand. We have one honest answer. I wonder if I should. You, you use Khan Academy, too, right? Okay, because Lily, as teacher, just said today that they're starting Khan Academy. I wonder if you guys are doing the same stuff. That would be helpful to do together. Today is day one of homeschooling all seven of these kids, and I have no idea how it's gonna go. Here's the thing, though. Up to this point, I can't remember if I talked about this or not, but up to this point, up to today, actually, the kids that live up here, their school didn't allow them to learn anything new up to this point. It was all supposed to be review. However, we kept teaching our kids. My mom's a teacher. We printed out all the modules, like, for math and stuff, and we kept teaching them new stuff, even though like they weren't supposed to be learning new stuff because the district that we're moving to next year, they're still learning stuff. So I wanted to make sure that my kids didn't fall behind. So I took it upon myself to make sure that they were still learning. But now as of today, they decided that they are going to continue learning new material now. So my kids are technically ahead of schedule, but I think it's good review for them. I'm still gonna make them do their teacher's work because as of today, they're allowed to start learning new things. So here's the problem though. We only have two Chromebooks and you need Chromebooks to do all this log information. Obviously two Chromebooks and seven kids, there's a problem there. So I think I'm gonna do this by grade because we have two in most of the grades and then maybe I'll do Tommy and Landon together. So I think we're gonna do Big Kate and Lilia because they're both in fourth grade. Kyson and Kaden are both in second grade and then we'll do Tommy who's in third grade and Landon who's in kindergarten. That way they can all kind of take turns using their devices and then they'll switch off with like reading and stuff in between. So our schedule has changed so much since the very beginning of our social distance learning adventure. But you gotta be flexible in a time like this. We also need to update our behavior chart because we have two new students. We need to put them on our, on our chart, yeah. on our behavior chart. And we have a cool school because here at our school, you get Skittles and M&Ms when you stay on task. <laughs> Literally sweet. Most of the kids are done with their work work for today. So now we do silent reading. The kids have a choice of reading it themselves or listening to Audible. I'm so grateful that Audible was sponsoring us, let me just say, because it has come in so much handy. We use it almost every single day, especially during our school time. If you guys don't use Audible already, I would highly, highly recommend it. If you download it through my link, of course, that always helps me out. It's just audible.com slash slash Jess fam. Okay, come here, we're gonna read. Let me set this up with them really quickly. Right now we're reading Charlotte's Web and I have Audible read it to them. The reason that I even downloaded Audible in the first place is because I would listen to podcasts when we were in the car. So they have like way, way more than audiobooks on there. They have so many different things. They have podcasts, they have um, news things you can listen to, they have business self-development, like they have so many different things. It's far from just audiobooks. So you're on chapter five. The app is completely free, of course, and you can even download titles so you can listen to it offline. It's going well. You can also listen across multiple devices and you don't like lose your spot, so that's really cool. Each month, members get one credit and they can use it to read whatever they want. A podcast that I heard is really good recently is called The Goop Podcast, so if you download it, you can try that one out. Or you can use it in your school time like we do every single day. So if you haven't downloaded it, you can text JessFam to 500-500, that's J-E-S-S-F-A-M, or you can go to audible.com slash JessFam. Of course, I'll have a link down in the description. And then there was one. This is the last one. Is Kaden still working, babe, or no? Yeah. Decimal. The two fourth graders are left. They, it seems like they have the most work, which makes the most sense, but the two fourth graders are the ones that still have the most work. Two, three, no, is there any holes? How many holes are there? Did, it's a hundredth place, careful. <gasps> it's a hundredth place, not tenths. And for math, is he on decimals too? 
Dun. I'm dying to know if they're the same, but I have Chris has been working with him. The same area, yeah. That's so interesting. I mean, like it like makes sense, but because even like the twins, when the the twins are in different classes and at the same school, and they can be on different lesson plans at times, so it's interesting. That's so it seems like she's exactly just one lesson ahead of him. Then, if he's starting decimals tomorrow, let me tell you a secret. Fourth grade was my least favorite grade. I hated fourth grade. You know? I like my teacher. Yeah, I know. Except like all the problems are hard. Mm -hmm. But it gets better. Okay, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. You know it's gonna be in the hundredths place. Oh, look at you, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Are you chewing gum too? I'm eating air. Air. <laughs> Are you done with all your work? Me? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Tyson's done. done. Kaden's done. What are you doing? You're not doing homework. What's up fam? It is the next day. School consumed our day yesterday. So let me let me tell you the verdict, okay? This distance learning thing is definitely not the same for every single person, every single school, every single teacher. It's based like purely off, at least in our district and then Tommy and Kaden's district, it seems like it's very much per the teachers. The reason I say that is Kaden, but Kaden has way more work to do at home than Lilia has to do and they're in the same exact grade and they're doing the same exact stuff too. Like it looked like they were like one lesson off from each other in math and stuff. But for some reason, Big Caden's teacher is having them do like so much work and then Lilia's teacher is having them do not so much work. So anyway, we literally spent like probably six hours doing school yesterday. I'm not even exaggerating because we we're like switching off from these kids to these kids to these kids and trying to figure out like what the schedule's gonna play for the week. And today it went a little bit better. It's already past all that school stuff. It is 3.47. Up until like 30 minutes ago, we were working on school with them as well. And now we're done <laughs> and I'm exhausted. My brain is exhausted and I love these kids so freaking much, but I cannot wait for them to go back to school. Like, you know, am I gonna be okay? Am I gonna be okay? Who, okay It's like pouring out of his. Wait, really? Oh yeah, it was bad. There's always something going on in this house. There was a comment somewhere on one of my platforms and I think on Instagram, someone was like, you guys never get a break. Like we literally, not break as in like a break, but like there's always something going wrong in this house. But I think it's inevitable when you have seven young kids, there's always something going wrong. What's wrong, baby? Hi. And there's blood everywhere. Yeah. Blood everywhere? Yeah, there's blood Is there any evidence? Oh, is there really? <laughs> Ew, on a shoe? Where? Where? Dad made the oh. Ew. It's hot today, go get some suits on. I'm so happy though that it's starting to warm up around here. It's so pretty outside. I just told the kids to go with their swimsuits on. I'm at least so happy that it's so nice and pretty and beautiful outside. I want to do something outside today. The last few days have been kind of gloomy. It's times like this that I really wish that I had a pool. What are you guys doing during quarantine? Like if you don't live in like, I don't know, a mansion that has like a pool and fun stuff, like what are you guys doing? Especially if you have lots of kids, what are you guys doing to keep your kids busy? Obviously school is keeping us really busy, but then Afterwards, they just, I mean, we have the bounce house, but we only have it until Sunday, and then it's getting picked up because we've had it for two weeks. We were only supposed to have it for, for one week, and then we got it extended because the kids are using it so much. Our neighbors love it. They're locked. Yes. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. But other than that, like once this bounce house gets picked up, I don't know what we're gonna do. I wish we had a pool or something. I don't know. We're just trying to make do with what we have. Look at you, bubbies. Oh, you wanna you get wet? You wanna have some fun? Wait, are you uh, wait? Are you gonna buy water balloons? Oh, we should buy water balloons. That'd be fun. Because then we can just be like a water fight, a yeah. water balloon fight in the jumper. <laughs> we got these party balloons for the twins' birthday, and for some reason, I think we just forgot about them, honestly, because we had so many balloons. We ended up getting way more balloons than we needed. So these party balloons are supposed to blow up on their own. It's like the water balloons. Oh, tie them on their own. That's what I meant. They tie on their own, supposedly. It's like similar to those water balloons that tie, like you hook it up to a hose, they all blow up and then they tie by themselves. Apparently, oh, okay. Chris has an air compressor. Ooh. And I don't know what we're gonna do with them, but give us something to do. We're so bored. <laughs> Ooh, they whistle too. We get entertainment. Why are they screaming? <laughs> That was uneventful. Sounds like a bunch of whiny kids. <laughs> Wait, they don't tie on their own? I'm so confused. I thought they tied on their own. Pull them off. Like oh. Pull them off the tube. Really? Carnage time! <laughs> Woo! 
Okay, supposedly, let me see. Supposedly, you just pull these off and then they tie. I don't think it's like that. I think it's like the party will go to the strings and then they just... Oh, you have to cut them. That's lame. I mean, I guess it's cool. Can you guys oh, that? This is not a water slide bounce house or a water bounce house, but it's hot outside. Hey kids! What? Hey, you guys should come down the slide! You should come down the slide! That's so funny. <laughs> this stroller is the most comfortable thing for kids, probably, yes, but also for adults. <clears throat> the stroller's so comfy. We bring this stroller to Disneyland. I'll have to link it if I can find it. I believe we got off of Amazon a long, long time ago. It is the most sturdy, comfortable stroller. I don't actually sit in it, except I am right now, but like I don't usually. But for Disneyland, you can fit three kids on this thing and we bring it regardless of who we're, like a, like we can fit a big kid. Like I think it carries like 150 pounds. No, actually that's about how much I weigh. So yeah, I feel like this is a stroller review. You need help opening the door? She can never open up our door. I don't know why. Are you ditching me? I thought we were hanging out. I thought we were bros. All right, <laughs> never mind. But it has these nice like um, jogging stroller wheels and it has two seats, but we actually put three kids on it all the time because this thing, it fits a little tiny kid's butt too. So we do boom, boom, boom a lot of the time, at least while they're little. But I've been sitting out here with Addie. Chris went to go pick up Texas Roadhouse for dinner. Yeah, this is only our second time getting in in the whole quarantine and I'm having withdrawals. I got these lush like bath bombs for the kids and I left it sitting right next to the bath. You're supposed to like break off a piece of it at a time to use it. And I stupidly left it sitting next to the bath. And so this happened. <laughs> Addie decided to put the entire bath bomb. It was like this really, it's probably like that big and you just break off a little piece at a time and it makes these bubbles. And she put the whole thing in the bath. <laughs> yeah, it does, but now we don't get to use it again. Now it's all gone. So I'm a little bit bummed about that because those are not cheap. This is why I don't buy nice things. I don't like to buy things that cost a lot of money. I'm sorry, you just don't because this happens. You have kids, I'm just why? What's the point? I hope you enjoy this bath. I hope you sit in it for quite some time, my love. I hope it makes you really, 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 really clean. Cool.